Hi, I'm Maya. I'm an executive coach and researcher. Welcome to The Golden Hour, the podcast focused on elevating your career whilst also nourishing your well being and relationships. From career transition, job crafting, and getting promoted to physical, mental, and digital well being, I've coached hundreds of leaders and researched these topics. There's no one size fits all here, which is often why there seems to be such a big gap between what we know and what we do. But by using evidence based approaches to help you think deeply about your priorities and habits, we can close that gap on the things that matter the most. Hello and welcome to the first episode of the Golden Hour podcast. I'm Maya Goodker and I'm really pleased to introduce the podcast today. I want to answer a few questions about what this podcast will be. First of all, what is a Golden Hour and what is the point of having a Golden Hour? And why have a whole podcast series dedicated to this concept? The first thing, what is a Golden Hour? I'll put my hand up and say this is an emerging concept and you are all on this journey with me. I've done a few things that have helped me refine the concept. So over the years, a consistent theme that emerged amongst clients, whether they were in large organizations, leading teams, in smaller businesses, in leadership roles, or in more entrepreneurial or freelance roles, was the lack of time when things get really busy, the lack of ability to have strategic time to focus on that bigger picture thinking um, or the deep work that enables people to really move the dial uh, in their field. And likewise, every now and then amongst the clients I coach, I'll come across a client who just seems like he's nailed it or she's nailed it. Um, they they are on top of not only their day-to-day tasks, but they've got that bigger picture sense and they are working on things that improve their way of working, their knowledge, um, and they found ways to build this into their system. And likewise, with those clients, when I dig a bit deeper, they are the ones who will be doing things like the 5am club. In fact, it was a client that introduced me to the 5am club. And it was a client where I said, how are you doing all of this? How are you managing to be so proactive about your work uh, whilst juggling everything else you do? So I've seen it from both sides. I've seen where it's lacking and then I've worked with clients to build it in. And I've also seen the outcomes of um, having this time very much systematically baked into your week. So I've called it the golden hour because I think that it can, this sort of time, this precious time, this golden time can relate to different areas of our life. It can, of course, be focused on our work and that might be a dominant focus in these conversations because a lot of the work I'm doing is in people's workplaces, but it can also be focused on the self and that's where your golden hour may involve things like meditation, other spiritual practices, forms of exercise that are good for you in many ways. So good for your mind, body and soul. So there's the self piece as well, which golden hours can be very good for. And then there's also relationships and golden hours with other people. And of course, as a coach, I I think of coaching as a golden hour. I think of it as a unique period of time that is stepped away from the normality of life. It's a different kind of conversation and it has protected um, elements to it that enable it to be, whilst it may just be another video call or another phone call in one schedule, it, it, it might feel very different uh, in its content. So I think that golden hours can happen across these three different areas of work, self and relationships. And they can happen on our, on, the, on your own or with others. What I did in January was I logged my own golden hours, both on my blog to give people an idea of what a golden hour really is, but also for me to start building up a sense of the different kinds of things that seemed to register as golden hours. And it really is open for debate and actually part of this process and the reason why I want to dedicate episodes to talking about this is 
it's going to look different for everybody. So what I might consider to be a golden hour might not really feature for other people. And that's important as well. So that's a little bit about what golden hours could be, what they might be. If you want some examples, do head over to my blog where I did log in January. At the bottom of each post, I I logged my golden hours. Sometimes I managed a few golden hours each day. But given that we were also homeschooling and had COVID, that it was definitely a time when time was squeezed. But because I was focused on creating these every day and planning for them, I felt like I still managed to have a, a productive January. So that's you know, the what, what what are golden hours? Why are they important? I think I've touched on that slightly in the sense that I've noticed how impactful it can be for clients and I've noticed how impactful it is for me. I think the reason why I want to dedicate a whole podcast series to it is because I see golden hours as that foundational type of habit that if you can get right, everything else falls into place. And having done a master's in positive psychology and having coached extensively, practiced and experimented with different things myself, what what seems to resonate with the golden hour is that we many of us are living incredibly busy lives. We're at busy stages of our lives. Uh, this podcast is probably geared towards those that that are in that busy stage of their careers, but maybe also have other commitments and families and kids. So when you've got all that going on, just staying afloat sometimes can seem, you know, an achievement and it is. And I guess the idea of the golden hour is to say, nobody's saying, you know, you've got to live completely differently. You've got to do everything differently. But if you could just think about one hour each day, and start to build in some of the things that are most important to you and that you want to make progress on, that's manageable, it's doable, even if it has to be halved and it's it's a golden half an hour, every day you are able to make progress to the things that are most important to you. So that is why it's important. The next thing I just want to talk about is why is it not just as simple as sitting down and having having a golden hour why do they why do we need to talk about it so extensively and this is really the whole point of this podcast which is that we're in over information overload there's so many tips out there there's so many ideas about how you can do things differently but often it takes time to implement these things. So when it comes to a golden hour, there's actually a lot of preparation that one needs to do. You've got to know why you're doing a golden hour. What are the things, what are your goals? What are your priorities? What are the things that you feel you would love to move forward on if you had more time? And only when you know those things and you've done your goal setting on those things and you sketch those out, can you start to map out your golden hours and the golden hours will feel like they're worthy of your time. So that is an example of some of the preparation, scheduling them, figuring out when you have energy for these things, when your current schedule actually would accommodate those. For a lot of 2020, I was doing my golden hours at 5 a.m. It seemed to work because the pandemic really kicked off in spring and that felt like the energies were very much around, you know, it was a very natural energy to wake up early then. Um, Whereas in in deep midwinter, I wouldn't wouldn't force myself to do that. It would feel unnatural, shall we say. So then I would want to think in in winter about different times for golden hours and it might be more challenging to fit them in and require more planning. So that's an example of many of the considerations which we will go through in detail um, episode by episode. So for example, we're going to do an episode on planning, using our planners, how we use them and all the different resources that over the years I have used and benefited from when it comes to having a physical planner. Um, Likewise, knowing yourself and your rhythms and when you're at your most productive um, and how you can almost guarantee your golden time each day. Uh, these are considerations um, before we even get into what, how you spend the time. So there's a lot to cover. I really look forward to going through this with you. It's the first episode, so I definitely would welcome 
lots of feedback and thoughts about what you would like to see covered. Um, I know right now I am discussing burnout a lot with my clients, um, especially those that work in larger organizations where it is possible to be scheduled from morning till night on uh, video conferences. So that's something that I am going to be talking about because only last week and the week before I've been talking to those clients about how they can carve out time for themselves uh, amidst those crazy schedules and how they can carve out golden time. And I can also share some of the things that seem to be working for, for those guys. So that's what we're going to cover. This is a short episode today. And generally, when it is just me on the microphone, they will be short episodes. Every three or four episodes, I will have an interview and that will be a longer extended interview. But mainly, it's just going to be me. So I look forward to connecting further with you next time. And thank you for listening to this introductory episode. And I look forward to us all creating many, many golden hours together. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to the Golden Hour podcast. If you found it valuable, please forward it to others who you think might benefit from listening. And be sure to subscribe to get the new episodes when they release. And if you're listening on iTunes, please leave a rating or review as it really helps the show to grow. You can find me at Maya Goodka on Twitter and Instagram, and you can find links to what we cover in the episodes in the show notes. Thanks for listening and see you next time.